All forms of making merit are food for the mind. They give energy to the mind. So at times when your energy is down, when your morale is down, you can think about the goodness you've done. And remember, okay, you're in this world. You haven't been just a dead weight on the world. You've actually contributed to the well-being of the world. You've seen opportunities where other people need something that you you can share, and you're happy to share it. Okay, that's that's goodness right there. That's nourishment for the mind. You see opportunities where you could do something where you might gain a little bit of benefit by harming someone else or harming yourself. You say, nope, I'm not going to do that. And the knowledge that you have principles like that, because that's nourishing for the mind. There are times when you meditate and it's hard to stay with the breath. You can think about the generosity you've practiced in the past, the virtue that you've practiced in the past. And that gives you the energy you need to go back and do battle with your defilements. The defilements that tell you that you're a bad meditator, the defilements that tell you you have no hope. You can tell yourself, well, I do have some goodness, and this goodness is the basis for training the mind. So I've got something here to work with. That can give you encouragement. So all forms of goodness help one another, strengthen one another. It's not the case that making merit is just for happiness in a future lifetime. It's also for giving strength to the mind right now. So you can train the mind so you can go beyond issues of worrying about next, next lifetime because you know that what you've got right now, the mind is in good shape. The mind is well trained. The mind is more and more under your control. It's a mind that you can trust. So that no matter where you go, okay, you've got your trustworthy mind with you. That's the kind of strength we're trying to develop.